Watch this bounce test. The orange ball, that's a 3D printed. And the green one, regular tennis ball. Same drop height, but look at that difference. Symbotan sent me this PEBA 85 filaments. So what exactly is PEBA? It stands for polyether block amide. Nala Nila Steamer, the same stuff used in a high-end running shoe midsoles like Nike Zomax. I thought my A1 Mini and A1 would struggle with this material because they're open frame printers. But it was actually easier than I expected. Let me show you everything I printed and why PEBA makes such a difference. I printed sleepers, a handy massager, phone cases and many more. And the results are incredible. These sleepers perfect for testing PEBA's footwear applications. Same material technology as those expensive running shoes. This is a 3D printed massager and iPhone case all have amazing durability and super flexibility by using PEBA. Here is a one more strong test. I have printed a single layer cylinder in waste mode with just a one wall count and look at it layer adhesion properties. I am pulling and stretching with the pliers but the layer adhesion durability is impressive. Here is my honest take down on Symbotan PEBA 85A. Compared to a regular TPU, PEBA prints easier and faster, bounces better and lasts longer. What would you print with this real flexibility? Let me know in the comments.